I noticed a bite mark on my daughter's arm that had teeth indentions and a bruise. Maybe I know for a fact that my wife did not bite a child because that's just wrong and savage. Thank you, everyone. We are live on the record. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Make sure you weren't busy doing something else. We are no, live on the record. Him. This is a petition to establish the parent-child relationship. Um, also, even though we're on devices, this is court. Um, we treated it such. And so everybody should be visible, just as if you were in a courtroom where I'd be able to see um, the witnesses or you. Typically, one of you is asked questions at a time. Um, person who's not being asked questions, unless they have a legal objection, shouldn't interrupt the other person or answer for them. Um, just wait till it's your turn to be asked questions. And also wait till it's your turn representing yourselves. You'll both be given a chance to speak as well. And then lastly, since you're both representing yourselves, um, I just want you both aware that you're expected to know and follow the law that neither me, my court staff, or the attorney generals can give you legal advice. Uh, so you have to be prepared and evidence and witness. And you may proceed, Ms. Penister. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I'll call us my first witness, Ms. Melissa Townsend. Ms. Townsend, will you state your name for the record? Melissa Townsend. And you are the mother of the child before the court? Yes, ma'am. And will you tell the court the child's name? Uh, and when was Arena born? 2020. You weren't married to any man at the time of her birth? No, ma'am. And you've had an opportunity to take genetic testing. A pri was there a private DNA test done with Arena? Yes. And that test um, did not exclude him. He was found to be the biological father of the child? Yes, ma'am. Um, and you testified that Arena's last name is Townsend. Um, yes, ma'am. What would you, what do you think her last name should remain Townsend? Yes, ma'am. She already knows her name, and I don't think it would be right to change it and have her confused on what her last name is. Um, since birth, has Arena primarily lived with you? Yes. Did Mr. Towns or Mr. Excuse me, Lumpkin li ever live with you and Arena? Were y'all living together as a family unit? No, ma'am. When did you all separate, or when did y'all stop y'all's dating relationship? Um, back in 2020. So when was the first time that he saw Arena? The first time he saw Arena was about two years ago, I think it was. So in 2022, sometime in 2022? I think so. I can't fully pinpoint the exact date. Okay. And did he, did you call him at the time that she was born? Like, did he know that? We tried contacting him and we had no luck contacting him throughout the entire pregnancy. So you said she was about two years old when Mr. Lumpkin saw her. Under what circumstances? I can't fully pinpoint. Under what circumstances was it? Um, I thought it would be a good idea for him to know that he does have another child, and I wanted to be able to give him the opportunity to see her and attempt for us to be able to come to an understanding when it comes to her and possibly allow him to be able to grow and have a relationship with her. So did you all meet up and he visited with her? We did meet up. We met up at a park over by where I was living and they did play for a bit. Yes, ma'am. And after that one occurrence, how often or did he see her subsequently? Um, he saw her one time in that year and then saw her again the following year one time. And then after I had left where I was currently staying last year, he would see her a few times, yes. Okay. When you say a few times, were you, was he keeping her while you were working, Ms. Townsend? Yes. Okay. And so yes. you were- She would usually that. come home with me, yes. And then you would drop th that child as well as another child that was not um, Mr. Lumpkin's off for the, he t him to keep. Yes, he, they would pick me up and take me to work, mainly his wife, 
and then um, both of my kids would go over there while she was watching him, well, watching them, sorry. And, and how often, or what was the time period? How many months did would you say that occurred? It wasn't even a month. I, there, she was in their care during the day while I was working. But was it a week, or how, how, how long did this go on? Um, about two weeks. Okay. And you terminated that arrangement? Yes. And did you, did you do so because you had concerns for the children's safety? Yes. Um, will you tell the court the nature of those concerns? Um, I had really big and high concerns with the fact that um, one night when I did get home from work, I was giving my daughter a bath and getting her ready for bed. And I noticed a bite mark on my daughter's arm that had teeth indentions and a bruise. When I had brought it up to Mr. Lumpkin, all he could sit there and say was, well, you should see the mark on her, not clarifying who it was, how the bite mark got there. And then when I was talking to my son about it, he had informed me that um, when they were under his wife's care, his Mr. Lumpkin's wife would hit my daughter. She would um, then sit there and snatch things out of my daughter's hands when it came to her trying to play with the toys that were at the house. I was also informed that when Mr. Lumpkin would be at the house as well, he would make both my daughter and his other daughter fight out issues or problems that they would have. And if my daughter touched their daughter, my daughter got disciplined instead of both children being disciplined and put in timeout and teaching their daughter how to properly share toys. So when that all came out, I sat there and asked my son then how the bite mark happened. He then informed me that my daughter, Arena, was trying to play with toys that belonged to his other daughter, and their daughter snatched it from my daughter, and so my daughter bit their daughter, and that's when his wife decided to bite my daughter to teach her a lesson. Let me ask you, were there other instances, Ms. Um, Townsend, where you have concerns of, of discipline being excessive with not just Arena, your son as well? When me and Mr. Lumpkin first started dating and we got into our home together, I would um, be there or if I was at my mom's or if I was sleeping or whatever it may be, I would hear Mr. Lumpkin disciplining my son and my son screaming and begging him to stop. And when I had... Seeing what was going on, I made it stop. I pulled him off and said, this is not okay. We do not treat children like this. And then I had also informed Mr. Lumpkin when there was a high possibility of me being pregnant, me informing him that when the time came, I wanted to put my son in MMA, which is mixed martial arts, just in case if I had a little girl to be able to protect her. And the words that came out of his mouth was, if you do that, I will put a bullet in his kneecap. Um, but you have, do you have any personal knowledge whether Mr. Lumpkin has been arrested or charged with any kind of assault, family no, violence, or domestic? Um, any endangerment to children or no, any kind of harm to children? Were there any no, physical, was there any physical harm to you when you all were living together? No, ma'am. There was a point when we were um, in the process of booting him out of the house. I did have my mom with me, and we had an altercation, and he almost swung at me. When did you all separate? Um, we separated um, early oh. on in 2020. And you would want, with regards to Mr. Um, Lumpkin's access to the child to be supervised. Yes. You think that would be in her best interest? Yes. Um, do you have any concerns of him making decisions or, or being a part of um, the decision making? Uh, I feel that if he did have an option when it came to us discussing things, it would go one or two ways, him denying how I see is best for her. 
or him wanting to go a completely different route that might not be in her best interest. So I would prefer for me to have full decision making when it comes to her. Okay. Um, you know, you said he. Before we get too deep into this, have I know this is the first setting. Um, I just want to be sure you all know the state does not represent either of you. Um, I just want to be sure neither of you want to consult lawyers on these issues. Yes, ma'am. And you have the ability to consult a lawyer? No, ma'am. I currently can't afford a lawyer at this moment due to me having to lose my job over not being able to pay for child care and bills. Okay, so yeah, I'm not I'll asking go. you to, what I'm asking is, are you wanting a reset to consult a lawyer? I, I'm not asking to go down. No, ma'am, this is fine. Your Honor, what the state was going to propose is a temporary order in this matter, just a, some transitional visitation and, and temporary orders to get support started okay. um, and reset for a few months. Okay, okay you can continue. <sighs> Unless, sir, I, I, Mr. Lumpkin, you did, not answer, um, I'm not, did you hear my question about lawyers? Yes, ma'am, I did. Okay, you didn't answer, though? Uh, you were talking. I wasn't going to interrupt you, ma'am. Okay, I appreciate that. Um, I want to give you a chance to answer. No, ma'am, I don't want one. Okay, thank you. You may continue. Yeah. Ms. Townsend, has Mr. Lumpkin provided any financial assistance to you for the child since you were born? Anytime I would ask for assistance, it's I had to pay it back. And the times when I did offer to pay things back, I would get told by his wife, don't worry about it. It's the least they can do since we have not gone to this point today. Okay. Um, so they, not any uh, pull-ups, none of? The wife would be the one to send me the money for it. And I was told to pay it back. And when I would go to pay it back half the time, I was told not to worry about it. Um, do you think it would be in Arena's best interest for the court to order some retroactive support, back child support? If we're doing temporary yes, orders today, I'm not addressing back child support today. Yes, yes Your Honor. Um, Ms. Um, Townsend, you testified that you're not employed, so you don't have health insurance available to the child through employer. No, ma'am. Correct. It's straight through the uh, the state. Okay. Um, pass the witness, Your Honor. Okay. Um, you can call your next witness. I call Mr. Townsend or Mr. Lumpkin. Sorry, Mr. Lumpkin. That's okay. Mr. Lumpkin, you you acknowledge you the father of Arena. Yes, ma'am. Um, and you have no objection to the child's last name remaining counsel? Nope. None at all. She can keep it. Okay. Okay. You, when did you find out, sir, to your, according to you, when Miss Townsend became pregnant? About two weeks after we split up and I found out third parties and I was told that okay. she didn't want me to know anything about it. And did you try to reach out to her to determine whether Absolutely or not she was pregnant? Not. Absolutely okay. not. I did not. So when did you when she contacted her? When she contacted me in June of twenty two. Okay. And so what, what happened that, in June of twenty two? I'm not sure I heard the question. When she contacted me. What was the question? What <laughs> what is that the answer? That's when, he, when they first spoke, Your Honor, regarding the child. They okay. they actually had a discussion or a conversation. Okay, thank you. And after you spoke with Ms. Townsend, did you request a visit with the child? Yeah, I did. Yes, ma'am. And, and then we and, met up at the park out there by her house. Okay. And once you visited with the child, that initial visitation, how often did you see her subsequently? About like she said, about regularly. The last picture I have of her and my daughter together is June 23rd of 2023. So you, from 2022, about November or so, you saw her on a regular basis up until June of 2023? Yes, ma'am. That is the last recorded picture I have of both of them together. Okay. And you agree as well that you kept your daughter and Ms. Townsend's other child while she was working? Mm-hmm. And um, you talked about your other daughter. So do you have another daughter that 
is not before the court? No. Because if she was here, we wouldn't be able to have this conversation. How old is that child, Mr. Lumpkin? Three years old. So Arena and that child are, are close in age. They're six exactly six months apart. Okay. Um and you have you disciplined the child, you or your wife? Uh my daughter? Yes, both the arena and the daughter with your current wife. I've swatted both of them on the butt for fighting. Okay. And do you understand Miss Townsend's concerns about the discipline? I didn't know anything about the fighting until just now. That's the first I've heard of it. I knew they got bit because they were fighting over toys. But I honestly don't think that my wife bit her daughter. I'm pretty sure my daughter might have bit her. Okay. And so have you, you've not made I know any for a fact that my wife did not bite a child because that's just wrong and savage. And you've made not any threats to her son, or, or did you discipline no, the I other, other child? I told him I was going to shoot him in the kneecaps with a BB gun if he tried to kick me and got out of MMA. Um, so you don't have any, you've never been arrested for assault family violence? No. And I was literally just joking with him. We were playing. Okay. I just was basically like, I'm too old to fight. By the time you're out of MMA, I'm gonna be too old to fight. Do you want to be a part of this child's life, Mr. Lumpkin? I would like to be, yeah, but and I thought we were doing you... good. Just like I told you, I've got an entire drawer full of clothes for both of them. I have a question. Maybe I misunderstood you earlier. When was the last time you saw this child? The last time I saw her, Your Honor, was June 23rd of 2023. That is the last recorded picture I have on file. Okay. So you last saw your child almost a year ago, and you have a whole drawer of clothes that fits your child? Yes, ma'am. And they were all bought within the time period that I seen her up until that she just up and disappeared with no word, no notice, no nothing. Okay, so when you say you thought you were doing good, do you mean today you thought you were doing good or back in June of 2023 you thought you were doing no, good? No, back, back when we were seeing them. Okay. Okay. Man was staying the night at my house. Okay. Her and her brother. Did you have any discussions or did you try to reach out to Mr. Ms. Townsend, Mr. Lumpkin, once um, you weren't able to see what you say or you stopped seeing the I absolutely the did. I messaged her on Facebook. I called her on Facebook. My wife had her phone number. She called her. We were just getting busy signals like the phone was turned off. Okay. Are you employed, sir? Yes, ma'am. And do you work at, Al is it Alco Trailers? Yes, ma'am. You earn twelve fifty an hour? Yes, ma'am. But you also work some overtime, 18 hours overtime, where you pay time and a half of 1825. Yes, ma'am. We had an opportunity to delay child support in this case um, using a gross monthly income of $3,628. Uh, and is do you have health insurance available through your employer? No, ma'am. Um, do you have any objection if the court were to order you to pay $80 cash medical? Uh, yeah, I do, because I don't want to pay any cash. I want everything to go through the attorney general. Well, um, that that money would go through the SDU. And using that calculation, and you have two other minor children. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. The daughter that's in your home and then one other child. Yes, ma'am. Um, using that calculation, the child support was 480 a month. You're not opposed to paying guideline child support, correct? No, I'm not opposed to paying child support as long as I get to see her. You were in the military, correct? Yes, ma'am. Seven years. And you got an honorable discharge. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And you have no issues or there's not been any concerns based on your military service? No, ma'am. If you were visiting with the child, how, do you have any objection to being supervised for a time period? No, I don't. But it won't be on my property. Okay. 
Pass away, Nishana. Okay, the state doesn't represent either of you. I'm going to give you both the chance um, to talk more about any issues you think I need to hear that are relevant um, to a temporary order today. Ms. Townsend, is there anything else you'd like to say? Um, yes. Um, he was not seeing Arena from November to July. I actually have- uh, What year are we talking? Ma'am, ma'am, stop, stop, stop. I, I really try to listen closely, but when there's gaping holes in what you say, I get lost and then I miss everything else you say. Um, so what oh, no, were those dates again and what year are we talking about? November of 2022, he was not seeing Arena daily. Okay. I have messages on Facebook where he's yelling and screaming at me and telling me he's going to come and get my daughter instead of asking if it is okay. Last message I received from Mr. Lumpkin was August 29th. And that what was year? I've heard from him. 2022. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, 2023. I'm sorry. I, I, I keep thinking this year's 2023. My apologies. No, we're in 24. Okay, sir. Um, okay. And I can say for sure, I am pretty sure it was his wife because she's told me on several different occasions that if a child bites, she bites back. And I wish I had that on record for myself so I can play it, but I don't. I, I do apologize. Okay. Um, and back when that incident, when she came back with a bite mark, she was around two, your child? I'm sorry. Can you repeat that one more time? You were cutting in and out. The bite incident happened when um, Arena was around two? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And so she's older and now. And the, the mouth size on her arm is too big to be of a child, especially a three-year-old or a two-year-old at the time. Are there any photos? No, ma'am. I, I messed up on that part and I take full responsibility for that. My main concern was hurrying up and getting out of that area and having her in a safe zone. Didn't and the bite last for a while? It lasted about uh, about a week, I want to say, give or take a couple of days. Okay, so ma'am, was there anything else you were saying? No, ma'am, that's all. Okay. Um, Mr. Lumpkin, is there anything else you'd like to say? No, ma'am, I'm good. Okay, what are you asking for in terms of visitation, sir? Now for a temporary uh, Whatever, whatever it's supposed to be, I what is it like every other weekend and then the summers are split and holidays are split okay, so that's what you're asking for uh okay. yes ma'am okay ma'am you are proposing um supervise what, what exactly are you proposing i don't want him alone with my daughter due to the okay. circumstances ma'am i'm not asking that ma'am ma'am please listen to the questions you get asked a question and then you answer with a lot of background that's not you know please stick to the question uh, what are you proposing for an actual visitation plan? Not why, but what? <laughs> um, mainly for him to be able to see and possibly grow a bond and be able to move further and not have to do supervised visitation. Okay, but so who who do you think could supervise this? I don't think it should be you. Um, I have a friend in mind that will be able to possibly do it. I just have to contact her. If not, then I was going to contact the local police department and see if they'll be able to do it. Ms. Kedish, do you know, if, I mean, in my experience, police officers are not able to supervise because they have other jobs. Um, they're they're yes, at the risk of getting into something controversial. I'm not sure they're well-staffed enough to do this, paid enough to do this. Um, they have other duties. Um, and so, Ms. Fenister, do you know if in Chambers they are lucky enough to have this system? I, I don't believe they do. No, Your yes, Honor. And I don't know of a supervisory facility in that area. Like, I'm not familiar yeah. enough to know if there's a facility in the area. I don't believe there's one. Nor associated cost. Yeah. Um, so, ma'am, the problem with what you just said to me is you haven't even reached out to that friend yet. Like, I'm the goal of this hearing is to make a ruling today that's enforceable and that you can all leave knowing what the parameters are. Um, and so at this point, I'm not, do, do you have anyone who could supervise? You need time right now to go make a phone call so we can make a ruling? Uh, yes, ma'am. Give me one moment and I can make that phone call. 
Before you get into that, ma'am, um, can you say the name of the person so we can confirm if Mr. Lumpkin, it's, if it's his arch enemy or if it's someone he's willing to? He does not know her, but her name is Becca. Who is Becca? Um, she is one of my mom's friends who has done supervised visitations for other people as well. And sir, do you have um, any response to that? No, that's fine. Okay. Okay, uh, ma'am, I'll give you a moment to call Becca. Yes, ma'am. Okay, she might be at work. She did not respond. Um, I did leave her a voicemail and I'm waiting to hear back from her. I'm not sure what to do with that information um, in terms of making a ruling. I have another person that um, I'm about to call if you don't mind holding on for a few more moments to see if um, they would be able to do it as a backup. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, I truly apologize of my other friend, Rachel, and she said that she is more than willing to um, do the supervised visitation as a backup. These visits have to occur somewhere. Um, is there a location between you two? I... She lives in Baytown, so I don't know if that would be an issue. No, wouldn't be an issue as long as it's on a Sunday. Okay. Um... As long as it's on a Sunday? As long as, long as it's on a Sunday. Okay, that should be no issue. Are you all suggesting he go to Becca's or Rachel's house in Baytown? Yes, ma'am. I would recommend a public place. Yeah, that's what I was uh, going to say, too. I want to say there's a park by her house. Um, or we could, like, or they can meet up at a McDonald's or something over in that area. Um, I could get all the information um, and message it to him so he has the phone number if needed. That way it, he feels more comfortable with the fact and then they can figure out where exactly if it's going to be at a park or at a fast food restaurant or whatever it may be. And if I may, Your Honor, maybe we can recess or continue this case until next. I know we've heard all the evidence uh, and allow Ms. Townsend an opportunity to identify the person with that information and actually pick out a place. And then we come back for the court to issue a ruling. Um, yeah, we can I, can, I guess I can make rulings on everything and at this point reserve that issue. I'm thinking one to five on Sundays. Would that yeah, work? that's fine. I just need to know, yeah, is it going to be every Sunday or is it going to be every other Sunday or? I'm inclined to give you every Sunday, but what are you, do you want every Sunday? Yeah, I would be great with every Sunday. And then if I don't, if I have something to do that day, I can get with her and let her know that I won't be able to make it. I mean, are you sure you don't want to just Google and come up with like a park or something so this can get resolved today? Um, yes, ma'am. Mr. Lumpkin, you can as well. And I mean, both of um, you can propose options. I'm on it right now. Okay, great. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, here you go. I got a list of them. Because I don't know where, I don't know where she's at in Baytown, but here's a whole list of them. You got uh, Jenkins Park. Is Miss Townsend here? Because I don't. She might be. Yes, know. I'm here. Sorry, okay. I was using okay. my. I just want to make sure. <laughs> yeah, no. These sorry, are parks in the Baytown phone. area. The Jenkins Park, Edna May Washington Park, Roseland Park, uh, McElroy Park. Okay, would uh, the Roseland Park be okay? Yeah, Roseland's fine. Hey, and ma'am, does he know where you live? No. Okay. And you're ask are you asking that your address be protect be uh not disclosed in this order? Yes, ma'am. Sir, do you have a position on that? I think it's kind of crappy since she knows where I live. But that's my opinion. Has he done anything to you, ma'am? No, but there could be a chance that if he does, things can happen, and I would prefer my address to stay disclosed. Well, I've got would... more things to do. Sir, if you can just wait a moment, I, I will give you a chance to speak. Uh, why yes, do sir. you think something could happen? If given, why, why would you? I mean, that could happen, to, I guess, theoretically to anybody, but why would you say that? Because he has a really bad temper. Has he ever done something? Has he come to your house in the past and done something? 
no, because after a while, after we split up, I decided to move to a different location. So he had no idea where I was living. When he knew your location, did anything happen? No, because after he left, he moved to a whole different county. What county did he move to? Montgomery. And he, he left, um, you were in Chambers at the Liberty time? Liberty County. Liberty, He okay. left Liberty County. Yes, ma'am. No, he moved from Liberty to Montgomery. Yes, ma'am. Has he misused the telephone with you in any way? No, ma'am. And sir, was there anything else you'd like to say about this issue? Sorry, ma'am. Your Honor. Yes. I mean, I just, I don't have the time to go out of my way to go to her house and start stuff. I've got too much going on. And even if that's ridiculous, we've never even thought about doing anything like that. I mean, I paid, put her up in a hotel for a month. Why would I want to go and try to hurt her at her own house? Or period, for that matter. I'm going to reserve the issue of the non-disclosure at this time. Okay. But it'll be addressed. I'll address it at final trial. Yes, ma'am. Um, so I'm going to establish the parent-child relationship between you and Arena. Um, I guess I'll leave her last name. Thousand. And I'm going to, for now, make um, Ms. Townsend the sole managing conservator and you the possessory conservator, sir. Um, and That's she'll have fine. the right to determine the primary residence within Chambers County, any county that touches Chambers County, and Montgomery. Um, the visitation is going to be supervised every Sunday from 1 to 5 p.m. Uh, by a competent adult named by Ms. Townsend, but not Ms. Townsend. Um, at the Roseland Park, and I'm ordering that Mr. Lumpkin pay Ms. Townsend child support of $480 per month beginning June 1st of 2024. I'm ordering that Ms. Townsend apply for and continue with the government or medical assistance program um, and order that Mr. Town Mr. Lumpkin pay her cash medical of $80 per month beginning June 1st of 2024. I reserve the issue of non-disclosure, court costs, and retro as well. And um, yeah. this is going to be a temporary order to get things started, and we'll see how things are going at the next setting um, to try to move this along. Okay, so I have a question. Yes, sir. The medical, is that included, or is that $80 separate? It is $80 separate. Okay. Thank you. And all of that will get paid through the state disbursement unit. Yes, ma'am. This is a minimum, you know, if things are working and you get comfortable and want to move beyond supervised, you, you are empowered to do that. I'm optimistic he, he will be past supervised by the time you come back. Um, and the AG's office will draft off the temporary order based on my ruling today. They'll send it to me to review and sign and send you a copy for your record. Yes, ma'am. Go from there.